Well, I've been doing art since high school, and then I came to UNE. I started taking the art classes here one by one. I started loving it more, and D3 soccer was one of my targets. I definitely wanted to play soccer. Spent time with the people, met the faculty and the coaches, and I just loved it. So I figured art education was the only thing I could do here. I enjoyed the art part, but not really the teaching part, so I wanted to figure out what it is I could do that would make it so that I could make a career out of art. I was still exploring my classes. I took classes in pretty much every field, and I absolutely fell in love with psychology. Psychology is what sparked this entire thing. Steve said, why don't you try either double majoring or creating your own major? Art therapy, it was something that I actually wanted to do and that I knew that I would love. And like even when I talked about it, people were like, you have a twinkle in your eye when you talk about this, and they had never seen that before. I've taught for 30 years. Alexa is, is without a doubt one of the most talented students I've had. She really wanted to do her own major, so she crafted her own major writing a syllabi using our core that we have here at UNE. So in the end, she ended up taking a two-year core like all liberal arts students do. And then she uh, took all the basic uh, art courses, uh, painting, drawing, design, printmaking, ceramics. Her graduation was a culmination of all her studies here at UNE. I think she ultimately wants to do something in art therapy. I was given not only the freedom to do my personal major, but building a curriculum, tailoring it to what I wanted. And so I had just gotten my internship at River Ridge um, Neuro Rehabilitation Center. We were dealing with people who had traumatic brain injuries and people who were born with mental disabilities. It was a great place for me to incorporate my art therapy. I would do a lot with like rec therapy and um, occupational therapy and just like helping out the rehab techs, but they told me that I should do some art therapy on the side because that's my target. I just so happened to be taking a biological basis of behavior, so it was all about the brain and its functions and then how that in turn affects the behavior. So me working with brain injured clients and then doing the textbook reading and the class lectures and stuff like that on the side, it, it was almost like what I was learning was coming alive. Knowing what was actually going on in their brains. I think I understood them way better, the people I was working with at River Ridge. Soccer was the best thing. It was like having a second family. I could bring tears to my eyes talking about my coach. She was like a second mother to me. She was so supportive. And for me at the time, I was really, like I said, undecided with my schooling, thinking about transferring, just like other things going on. And it was great having her to talk to. She always knew exactly what to say. And like I said, it was that dual relationship of just respecting her so much and even after I graduated, I still go in to talk to her about stuff and my future and stuff like that. And she's just, I know that we'll always be in contact and I'll always have her there. She knew she wanted to use art as a creative way to offer therapy to kids and to give them that therapeutic process using the creative process and she was passionate about it. And now, a couple years later, we see her graduating with honors with the degree she created. And I'm just so proud of her and so happy to be a part of that journey, how UNE supported her and she fought to have the experience she really wanted here. Uh, it just makes me smile to think of her success here and the footprint that UNE left a mark on her, but she also left her mark on UNE. And it's a success story for us. Uh, my hope is to go to grad school and get my master's in art therapy so I can do what I, I really want to do is get registered as an art therapist. Um, in the meantime, I'm doing art therapy at three different nursing homes in Brunswick, Maine. I, I enjoy it a lot. I'm glad that I'm doing something with art therapy right off the bat, I mean within a month of graduating.